Welcome to Financially Fit Living, the channel dedicated to empowering you to achieve financial freedom. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our insightful episodes. Today, we're tackling a subject that affects us all, groceries. We're going to explore how to save money on groceries without compromising on the quality or quantity of your food. Groceries constitute a significant portion of most household budgets, and with costs continually on the rise, it's more important than ever to find ways to save. Fortunately, several strategies can help you significantly reduce your grocery bill. The first step to saving money on groceries is planning. This involves meal planning and creating a shopping list. Meal planning is a strategy where you decide in advance what meals you'll prepare for the week or month. This strategy reduces the chances of impulse purchases and also helps you utilize the ingredients you already have at home. Sit down once a week, decide what meals you'll cook, and make a list of the ingredients you need. This strategy has multiple benefits. It not only helps you save money but also reduces food waste and saves you time. You won't find yourself staring into the refrigerator, wondering what to make for dinner. Next, make a shopping list and stick to it. It's easy to get sidetracked by sales and special offers, but if an item isn't on your list, it's probably not something you need. Remember, a sale isn't saving you money if it's coaxing you into buying something unnecessary. Another strategy to save money on groceries is shopping seasonally. Fruits and vegetables that are in season are usually less expensive and higher quality than those that aren't. These items are often locally sourced, reducing transportation costs, and supporting your local economy. Plus, seasonal produce often tastes better. Consider buying in bulk when it makes sense. Items like rice, pasta, canned goods, and frozen foods often cost less per unit when bought in larger quantities. However, be mindful of expiration dates and your consumption rates to avoid waste. Don't forget about coupons and discounts. Many grocery stores offer digital coupons, and there are numerous apps and websites where you can find coupons for your favorite brands. But, remember to use coupons wisely. Use them for items you are already planning to buy. A coupon for an unnecessary item isn't saving you money. Store brands or generic brands can also help you save money. These products are often just as good as name brands, but they come at a lower price point. Don't be afraid to experiment with different store brands to see which ones you like. You might be surprised to find that some store brands outperform their name brand counterparts. A common piece of advice is to avoid shopping when you're hungry. It's a well-known fact that people tend to buy more and make less healthy choices when they shop on an empty stomach. So, have a snack before you go grocery shopping, your wallet and your waistline will thank you. Another tip is to pay attention to unit prices. These prices tell you how much an item costs per ounce, per pound, or per unit, allowing you to compare prices accurately. Sometimes, a larger or smaller package might offer better value. Consider using a grocery delivery or pickup service. While these services sometimes charge a fee, they can also save you money by eliminating impulse purchases. Plus, they can save you time, and as we all know, time is money. Don't overlook the potential of reducing meat consumption. Meat can be one of the most expensive items on your grocery list. Try incorporating a few vegetarian or vegan meals into your week. Not only will this save you money, but it's also a great way to add more fruits and vegetables to your diet. Remember to also take advantage of your freezer. Freezing leftovers, bread, and even certain fresh produce can help extend their shelf life and reduce waste. If you spot a good deal on a perishable item that you use often, consider buying extra and freezing it for later. Another important tip is to keep your pantry organized. When your pantry is cluttered, you may end up buying items you already have because you can't find them. An organized pantry will help you keep track of what you have and what you need, reducing unnecessary purchases. Investing in a few reusable grocery items can also lead to savings in the long run. 
Items like reusable shopping bags, produce bags, and jars for bulk items not only save you money but are also better for the environment. Lastly, consider growing your own food. Even if you don't have a lot of space, you can grow herbs or certain vegetables in pots. It's a rewarding activity that can save you money over time. In conclusion, with a bit of planning, awareness, and strategic shopping, you can make a significant impact on your grocery expenses. Implementing these strategies will not only save you money but also lead to healthier eating habits and less food waste. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Financially Fit Living. If you found these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and leave us a comment about which tip you found the most helpful. And remember, becoming financially fit is a journey, not a destination. Every dollar saved is a dollar earned, and every small change you make can have a significant impact over time. So keep striving, keep saving, and stay financially fit. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on our future videos full of helpful tips and strategies for achieving financial freedom. Until next time, this is Financially Fit Living, signing off.